What's up ladies and gentlemen, on today's HT Spotlight, we got this beautiful 2018 Mustang GT. Tell us your name. How's it going guys, my name's Paul. This is my 2018 Mustang GT, called Rose. I'm also the president of Valley HT as well too. Very nice, how'd you come up with the name Rose for your car? Uh, besides the colors, there's that. Uh, because the colors are red, so I thought about it Rose instantly. Also, uh -huh. I like to get pictures as well too. So okay. I like to pictures of roses and Kind of put it together one and one. Very cool. Yeah. What made you go uh, decide on a Mustang out of all the muscle cars out there? Uh, at first, I had an Eagle Boost before, I had a 2017 Eagle Boost, and then I had an accident that hydroplane, and that was the end of that one. And so, then, Mustang doing Mustang things. Yeah, <laughs> We're just kidding, guys. <laughs> now, then after that, I was debating on either getting a Scott Pack, there was a Camaro in the talks too, and then at the same time, I thought to myself, I haven't really finished up with the whole Mustang, so yeah. that's why I just continued on with as well, too. So oh, cool. That's why the story I'm going to buy is the same as I want to have on my EcoBoost as well. Oh, nice, nice. I noticed your car looks kind of lowered. Is it is it on, on springs, bags, coilovers? Uh, just on springs. It's, uh, it's a Stila Ultralight Linear Springs. So it's inch and quarter in the front. No, inch and a half in the front, inch and quarter in the back. Oh, wow. That's a pretty good drop. I mean, you don't want to go lower than that because you'll probably be scraping all over the place, huh? Oh, no. Right now, the only thing I really scrape, I don't care about scraping the splitter or the fuse anymore. The only thing I scrape now is the caps on the Oh, okay. Very nice. I love all the carbon fiber uh, trim that you got going all around the car. It's really nice. Is that that what these stripes are? are yeah. They're carbon fiber as well? Yeah. Check that out, guys. That's beautiful right there. It's got a really mean stance. I bet you a lot of people give you compliments on the color, huh? Yeah, that was the one thing. Because when I got this car, I was looking at this is the performance package as well too, that's the color that the car that I wanted. Yeah. And I wanted to get a white one because my last car was a white car as well too. I had one, I had one dealer, but it was way too much. I went to another dealer, it had the same thing. But a little bit more options as well too, but it was a lower price. And this is the only color I had. And people were like, oh, I'm getting a red car for him. It's a red car for him. And you get to the cops and everything. But then I was like, I really don't care. I drove it and then that was it. It's just car. Now, I, does it really attract, uh, you know, cops or not really? Uh, so so in a way more because of the sound more than the actual color of the car yeah we'll get we'll get to that in a little bit we're, we're gonna the definitely probably the main compliment i get on the car yeah no i bet yeah it's a beautiful color let me see if i could get a close-up on the on the color it's like a like a cherry yeah it's a uh, ruby red ruby red it's, it's hard to tell with the camera guys but it's really nice <clears throat> and what kind of wheels are these uh they are p51 wheels so it's <clears throat> this technically the wrong specs for the car uh -huh. no, because it's for the GT350 so it's a 19 by 11 in the front 19 by 11 and a half in the back so it's 295 and 305 oh you heard that guys 305 is in the back yeah before I got it from my friend the whole wheel setup uh -huh. and they had um, 325s in the back before too but they're pretty much trash yeah. so I could have got 325 but I just wanted 305 instead oh cool it was pricey too very nice if any of you guys want to give him a follow, here's his Instagram right here. It's uh, Guevara 5.0HH. There you go. Let's take a look at what you got back here. You meant you were mentioning the spoiler. This is the one you had on your EcoBoost? Yeah, the exact one. It's a G2 different trackback spoiler with the Z01 add on to the Oh, that looks nice. What kind of exhaust do you got running over here? Uh, so for the mufflers, it's the stock active exhaust mufflers with a um, pipes H pipe and catalyst headers as well too. Oh, so this thing must be really loud then, huh? Yeah, yeah. for four or five of those things, it's still pretty loud. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get to that right before we leave. We don't want to do it right now because the security over here they they have a tra a power trip and they might kick us out. Can we check out your interior? That's the interior right there, guys. A lot of carbon fiber trim going on. You can see right there the Mustang. The instrument cluster right here. Very clean. Very cool. Special little touches. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a work in progress. I, we are never really truly done with it. Oh yeah, definitely. That's just how it is with the whole car, uh, after, aftermarket cars. The parts and everything. So, what do you have planned for this baby next? So what, do you have any future plans for it in the uh, next few months? Nothing really, honestly, nothing drastically. Just kind of maintaining it right now. Yeah. Like eventually, 
obviously they have like everyone's goal to go boosted somehow, do a supercharger tour, whatever it is. If I were to do that, I would go with supercharger probably. Supercharger? And then it's gonna be, it's not, I'm just not really in the works right now. Yeah. I have too many things going on right now, so I hear that. I'm just kind of pushed away. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, it's all in good time. Whenever you're ready, that's, you know, that's the time to do it. Can we check out the hood, see what you got under there? Yeah. You need lights too? Yeah, let's throw some flash in there. Check out that intake. Is this the stock intake? Oh no. So I was, I was gonna say this right thing here. looks yeah, massive. So this part right here is the stock part though, and then this is the aftermarket part right here. This is the P51 intake. Oh, it's that's slick. Right down to here. You that, can kind of see it. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, because if if cops check this out, they're gonna say, "Oh, this is a stock intake right here. It yeah. does not look aftermarket at all," which is a good thing. Yeah, because even right there it says Ford or like FOMO or Ford Motor Company. There you go. See right there. But then the only thing that sucks it gives away is that you look down there and then you see that. <laughs> then you see the purple and blue headers down there. All right, That's let's take a look. Oh yeah, go ahead and put the light right there so we could check that out. You guys see that? Oh yeah. Those are beautiful headers right there. We definitely have to hear this thing. <laughs> and what is this? Uh, is that the catch can right there? Or what is that? I, know, I had one before, but it's just like a little, like a little vent type of thing. Cool. It's like a mini, a mini cabin air filter thing as well. So you're, so you're saying supercharger down the line, right? Hopefully, but like again, they have too much things going on, so those plans are cool kind of. Pressure. What makes you want to go with supercharger instead of like a turbo? Uh, from what I've heard. And from what I kind of looked up a little bit, it's that it's a little bit easier of an application to do. And so it's like less of the engine, actually, or less going into the engine and everything. Yeah, that is true. And it's kind of a shape for ground as well, too. That's true. So, yeah, no, that's true. Supercharger, you slap them right on top right there and then do a little tweaks here and there and it's good to go. With the turbos, you got to start messing around with the engine, moving stuff around. Yeah, a lot of different tubings and cooling needs and all this other stuff. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, that's supercharger is something easy. That's yeah, it. there you go. Crazy. And it probably gets more power that way, right? That's why the supercharger is like the instant torque and instant power you feel right away. That is true. And then one thing that I've heard that's kind of like a joke in a way is that when you're turbo, that you're pretty much an NA car until 4,000 RPM. Oh, so shit. And then you're an NA, and then once you get to 4,000, that's when the boost kicks in, then obviously you're fucking pulling it. Shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, man. Good deal. Good deal. So before we end the video, you want to give the viewers a little rev? Okay. I know it's probably going to echo in here, but it's all right. We're going to get out of here anyways. Not gonna be loud like Carlos is big to us. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody beats that car. Nah. That car is really loud. said it wasn't that loud this thing is ridiculously loud yeah hell yeah I don't, I don't think the viewers can hear right now you might just turn off the car it's hard to hard to hear damn that thing sounds beautiful ah well my ears are officially <laughs> broken my eardrums like, like people that I have a friend that has the same kind of setup in a way, except he has the headers the same as I do. Uh -huh. And he has Corsa all the way back. Oh. Corsa extreme. So even when he starts it up, it's just... It's just a monster, huh? You ever think about maybe camming it? Even if I, even if I were to cam it, it wouldn't have a good chop to it. Oh. Just like for us, like for like the LTs or for the Camaros, we have, they have just like one of their push engine. engines. Yeah. Just one little thing to take in and take out. Right. So for us, we have a dual overhead cam, so we have two cams on top of each side. Gotcha. We have four cams. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have the same sound, right? No, you, you'd be able to tell slightly, but not as much like, like Camaros and anything else, honestly, because they have the whole chop to it. Yeah. But the, we do have like a ghost cap, it's like a tune to do it for it, but it kind of harms the engine as well, too. So that's why we don't really use it as much either. Yeah. All right, good stuff. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot for showing us your car. I know a lot of viewers, you know, were wanting to check it out. Uh, I know earlier you said you, you mentioned something about you got a photography 
Uh, Paige, you want to shout that out real right. quick? So I'll just take pictures as well too on my Instagram for that. It's P Guevara Pix. So P, same as the last thing right there. P G U E V R A P I Pix. There you go. If you guys want to check out his pictures, they're really, really good. I highly recommend you check them out. And if you ever want pictures for your car, also hit him up. He'll definitely take care of you. Make sure you get those uh, nice shots of your car as well. Cool. All right, man. Anything you want to say before we end the video? Uh, that's it, honestly. That's it? All right. Easy enough. Cool, man. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. All right, later, guys. We're out of here.